Hey everyone, have a look at this. My phone is still on Android 12, but just wait a second. Now the same phone is running Android 15, no root, no TWRP and nothing on my phone was erased. In this video, I'll show you how you can install Android 15 on your own device using the DSU loader. You don't need any extra apps and you don't need a computer either. This works on many phones running Android 11, 12, 13 and even Android 14. Before we begin, make sure your bootloader is unlocked. If it's still locked, I have a separate video where I explain how to unlock it safely. Watch that first, then come back here. Alright, enough intro, let's move into the steps. For this video, I'm using my Moto G71, launched back in 2022 and currently running on Android 12. We are going to install Android 16 on this phone. And yes, this same method will work even if you're on Android 11, Android 13 or Android 14. The first step installing Android 16 is to enable developer options. To do that, open your settings app, scroll down and tap on about phone. Now find build number and tap on it 7 times until you see a message you are now a developer. Once that's done, go back to the settings menu. Now go to system, then tap on developer options. As you can see, my bootloader status shows unlocked, which is what we need. Make sure yours is same before moving forward. Next, scroll down until you see USB debugging and switch it on too. Now above USB debugging, you will see DSU loader. Just tap on it. Now you'll see a list of all the ROM builds that work with your device. You can select any GSI here. GSI provides a clean AOSP experience while GSI plus GMS is ready to use with Google's full suite of applications. I'll go with GSI only. Once you select it, it will start downloading the Android 15 GSI files. This part usually takes a few minutes, so let it finish. After the download is done, you'll get a message saying the system is ready. On the same notification, you'll see an option to restart into the new system. Press restart and your phone will reboot into Android 15. The first boot can take a while, so just wait and let it start up into Android 15. And there it is. The phone has booted straight into Android 15. The basic apps are present and the system feels smooth. Google apps are missing because we installed the GSI only package, not the GSI plus GMS package. Let's also confirm it in the settings. Here you can see the Android version is Android 15, which means our installation was successful. So that's how you can install and try Android 15 on your device. Everything functions as it should. You can use apps, explore the UI and test all the features just like your main Android setup. And here's what's wild. My original Android 12 system is still 100% intact. This is a dual boot situation. All my personal stuff, photos, messages, all of it. Safe and sound on Android 12. Now if you want to go back to your original Android version, simply restart your phone again. It will boot right back into your main system. And yes, we're back to our main Android 12. Now, if you want to remove Android 15, simply press discard in the notification. That deletes the temporary system and frees up your storage. So that's how you can try Android 15 on almost any Android phone using the DSU loader. Super easy, no root, no PC and nothing risky. If this helped you, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more simple Android tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.